Hey, what's up guys, it's Paralyzer, and I'm going to be showing you some retribution tips you can use to help yourself along in Arena. Um, the first one is Holy Prism. Everyone asks why Macro 3 Holy Prism, so that's because I have one for my uh, Arena 1, 2, and 3, which the third one is myself, I macro that to myself. So when I shift F4, it's going to heal me for about 40k, and it's going to do damage to everyone around me. The only thing I would um, recommend against not using this is, like, because it can break CC, so just know what you're doing. Um, I definitely try to pay attention to what I'm uh, around when I use that ability on myself. Um, that's one of the ways I live in Arena. Um, I use it on myself a lot if I'm getting targeted, which is fine, because I still do damage. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was Glyph of Divine Protection. Um, now, when you don't have this um, Glyph, uh, it will only reduce magic damage, and the magic damage is by 40%. So when you're running against a mage team, make sure you're switching out your, uh, your Glyphs. Make sure you use Double Jeopardy or something instead of the Divine Protection Glyph. So, basically what I'm trying to say is, when you're against a mage team, you'll have 40% from Divine Protection. So when you use Divine Protection, you have 40% magic damage reduction. And, <clears throat> what I like to do, this is a way of stopping to have, like, so you don't have to use a trinket if your healer doesn't have a uh, dispel. So, you you know what I mean, if you if you get Nova, you immediately have to ask, do you have dispel? And if they say no, that's when you pop Divine Protection and you pop Devotion Aura. Now the reason you pop Devotion Aura is because it's 60% magic damage, magic, magical damage reduction. And it allows your healer to free cast. So no matter what damage you take, you're going to be fine because it's 60% magic damage reduction. Normally mages will be running something like Mage Lock, you know what I mean? Something weird like that. Um, you, you might have the weird uh, like Warrior Mage Druid, but I don't think that's very good right now. Um, maybe uh, PMR. Maybe. RMP. You know, some people call it that, but I don't know. Um, this is one way to help, and mage damage right now is absolutely insane. Um, and that kind of sucks, <laughs> but, well, that's one way you can stop some of the damage from mages. And maybe not have to trinket that first deep freeze your uh, healer doesn't have to spell. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, people ask how I fear so much. Um, and that is because I make it a target mouse over. I fear constantly. I'm always fearing pets. I'm fearing everything. And people asked me how the other day when I logged on. They were like, hey, how do you fear so many pets? You know, how do you get them off so quick? Well, that's because I, I'm, I've I'm, i been doing this for a long time. And uh, I'm really used to this macro. And I really like it. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. And that is blind. Yes. Uh, the thing is, a lot of people think you have to set up burst as rat. And you do. Um, definitely the big, the biggest part of retribution right now is bursting and healing. But one thing you can do is you can always stop damage with blind. Um, warriors cannot trinket or cannot get out of blind unless they trinket. Rogues cannot get out of blind unless they trinket. Um, any class can't get out of blind unless they trinket. So I want you to think about that. Um, you don't have to use blind to set up a burst. Now, granted, it can help, but you can also use blind to stop a burst. So think about that um, because you can't dispel a blind. Um, I just want people to kind of, you know, because I see a lot of people like, oh, I'm going to go blind the healer even though this hunter is bursting on me right now. <laughs> like, you, you can't do that because if a hunter has all his pets up, you're probably going to take too much damage anyway. So blind the pets. It's fine to do that. Um, and like I said, you know, I, I didn't have time to record a 3v3 video. I've, I've been really busy this last week, and I'm sorry, guys, but I hope that these tips at least helped in some way, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you on Monday with the Paralyzer Weekly number four. Um, but yeah, for now, with much love, guys, Paralyzer.